Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to enable the Windows Sandbox feature on Windows 11 and these instructions will also work on Windows 10. Briefly, Windows Sandbox is a minimal installation of Windows isolated from the main installation that allows you to run untrusted applications without exposing your device. The feature is available on Windows 11 Pro and Enterprise Editions. This feature is not available on Windows 11 Home. Now, if you want something similar on the Home Edition of Windows, you might want to try to use a virtual machine. Okay, let's go into the steps to enable Windows Sandbox on your computer. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will help in the channel and support my work. First, you have to make sure that hardware virtualization is present and enabled on your computer. And you can do this by opening the start menu, looking for settings, then on system, go to recovery, and on advanced startup, click the restart now button. Now click on Troubleshoot, Advance Options, and then click on UEFI Framework Settings, and then click the Restart button. Now, once you are on the UEFI Framework, make sure to enable the hardware virtualization on your computer. I'm going to leave a link in the video description with more specific instructions on how to do this. However, remember that each computer and manufacturer, they use different framework designs. So they are not a unique set of steps to perform this specific configuration. Even further, right now I'm using a virtual machine. So there's not an option to configure the hardware virtualization because that is done directly into the application. However, these are the steps to get to the firmware where you can find the settings. Okay, to enable Windows Sandbox on Windows 11 or 10, open the Start menu and look for Turn Windows Features On and Off. And in here, scroll down and make sure to check the Windows Sandbox option. Then click OK and the components necessary are going to install on the computer and you will need to restart the device. Now, if you want to disable the feature, just go back to the same Windows features page and clear the Windows Sandbox option. And then you will need to restart the computer to complete the configuration. Now, you can also enable Windows Sandbox using PowerShell. And to do that, open Start and look for the terminal or PowerShell directly. Right click on the console and select the Run as Administrator option. Now, in my case, I'm going to start a PowerShell session and I clear the screen. And then you need to run this command. Now, type Y and press Enter. Now the computer will restart and the feature will be enabled. Now, if you enable the feature using PowerShell, you can also disable it using a similar command. And to do that, open Start and look for PowerShell or the terminal. And in my case, I'm going to use the terminal. I'm going to run it as an administrator losing a right click and I'm going to start a PowerShell session. And this is a command that you need to run to disable the Windows Sandbox on Windows 11 or on Windows 10, then press enter. Now to restart the computer and complete the configuration, just type Y and press enter. And finally, you can also enable the Windows Sandbox experience on your computer using command prompt. And you can do that by opening start and looking for terminal or the command prompt. And in my case, I'm just going to use the terminal, I'm going to right click on it and select the run as option. And then I'm going to run this command. To complete the setup, just press Y and that will restart the computer. Now, if you want to disable the Windows Sandbox using Command Prompt, just open the Start menu and look for the Command Prompt console. I'm just going to use the terminal as an administrator. And this is the command that you need to run to disable the feature. However, I'm not going to run this because I just want to show you really quick that once the feature is enabled, you can go to Start and then you can just look for Sandbox and it's going to show up as an app. You just click on it and that will create the temporary virtual machine with a lightweight version of Windows 11 that is isolated from the main installation. And from here, you can visit untrusted websites or you can install applications just for testing. And as you can see here, we have the web browser that you can just go into and just browse different websites. 
Now, if you want to install an application, you can just transfer the executable. And in this case, I'm just going to drag this one right here. Actually, I'm just uh, going to copy. Then I'm going to paste it. And as you can see, we just transfer the file from the main system to the Windows Sandbox installation. And from here, you can run any application. And once you're done, just click the close button and this will delete the Windows Sandbox installation. And the next time that you start the feature again, it will create a new virtual machine. So you can do the same testing with websites or applications. And that is all there is to it. That's how you enable and disable the Windows Sandbox experience on Windows 11. And the instructions will also work to do the same configuration on Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.